Born in Dayton, Ohio in 1946, Charles Arnoldi drove out to Los Angeles three days after he finished high school. There, he attended the Schwinart Art Institute and won the Los Angeles County Museum of Art's Young Talent Award in 1969. Though he has more recently worked with paint on canvas, Arnaldi first captured the attention of the art world with his work in wood. Arnaldi was first inspired to work with wood while raiding a Malibu orchard after a brush fire. There, the scorched black branches caught his eye, and he noticed their similarity to hand-drawn lines. Arnaldi took a few with him back to his studio. At first, he configured the sticks to hang on a wall, but he later moved to create freestanding sculptures, like the untitled one on display here. The irregular eucalyptus branches read as lines drawn in space, while the bright color on the surface accentuates the branch's status as artistic material. Hi, this is Charles Arnoldi. I was born in Dayton, Ohio in 1946. I now live in Malibu, California. My studio is in Venice, California. In your mind, do your works have a specific environmental or a political message at all? No, it was, I was literally, I was just trying to figure out how to make a painting. And the, it was interesting, the tree branches, they were like a three-dimensional line. And so I made these construction, hung them on the wall. And then at, after doing the first couple of batches of them, uh, I, I let them come out into relief a little bit. And then the shadows cast on the wall and sort of duplicated the drawing, which I created with the tree branches. And then at that point, it seemed like they needed to be freestanding, so I went ahead and made some freestanding sculptures. And I did construct some of those sculptures in a box, where I'd make a you know, flat-sided box. So once you know, I, I made the, the branch structure inside the box, and I took the box away like a mold, so they had flat planes on the exterior sides. But what I was trying to do is imply some kind of formal order to the random structure of the, of the, the drawing of the sculpture. And the tree branch paintings were very much about drawing. And so a lot of what I see when I look at the tree branch paintings or the sculptures is the shapes in between the lines. You know, drawing is just a, a line describes a form. Then, after looking at those a lot, I ended up shortly after making those, I made some paintings with a chainsaw where I took a big slab of wood and I carved into the wood creating exactly the opposite of the tree branch being a three-dimensional line, I created lines in negative space. And it was all about just making marks and lines and drawings. I've never really considered my work much about nature, although I did after that also I made some volcano log jam paintings when Mount St. Helens blew up. And those were sort of based on nature and, and landscape. But uh, I've always just been trying to make, I guess, abstract paintings, which is what I've, I'm doing these days. Mm -hmm. 